sporting Kansas City. The Rams minus 130 favorites. Sporting Kansas City plus 340. The draw is plus 285. Over under is at two and a half to three, leaning more towards the under. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, New England, uh, <laughs> 1 1 draw last week versus Columbus, like we just said. Uh, honestly, I'm really surprised that uh, New England hung on there um, with a 65 minute red card. Um, they were a man down for like the last 30 minutes of the game. Um, and it was only a eighth minute goal into stoppage time that Columbus was able to tie it up, which is just, I got to say, just so ridiculous. I don't know what is with MLS and this extra stoppage time, but you do not see it like this in other leagues. Um, but I'm really all over New England here. Um, let me see the odds here. Uh, minus 130. Uh on the road, I get that they're on the road here, but uh, wait, no, actually, oh, they're England, home. I'm New sorry, is at home, yeah. is at home. Uh, New England minus 130 at home, play of the week. Uh, they are going to blow out Kansas City here. Um, I really like their team total over one and a half. Um, this is you know similar to like my Dallas play last week. I am on New England over everything, so New England team total over one and a half. Um, New England money line minus 130, New England and the game. Over one and a half is at plus 105. I'm on that too. Um, they are just a dominant team. Um, they're the number one team in my power rankings. They beat people up left and right. They like to score goals. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I think New England is really, really impressive this season. Um, so let's ride with the Rev and, um, you know, total domination over this garbage Kansas City team. <laughs> I love it. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. I think, uh, you know, you know, the Revs are lucky to get a point uh, against the crew, especially after that red card. They've won three of their first four home games. have only lost one on the season against high-flying LAFC. Sporting Kansas City, on the other hand, have yet to win a match. They just got rocked by San Jose on the road. doesn't help either that their center back, Castellanos, also got a red card in the 38th minute. I don't expect anything from Sporting Kansas City at this point. Uh, they they don't, don't show up. They don't score. Uh, they're terrible defensively. You got to back any team that's playing Sporting Kansas City, and to couple that with the Revs are at home. Uh, the Revs have scored nine goals and allowed one in four home matches thus far. You can't trust Sporting Kansas City to do anything. On top of New England Revolution having a stout goals against record at home, Sporting Kansas City is in a race with Montreal for who can suck the most in MLS this season. Right now, um, I'm going to go with Sporting Kansas City because Montreal does have a win. Uh, and Sporting Kansas City has not come close to winning. Montreal at home, Sporting Kansas City may take the lead. I think they will take the lead this week. Um, take the Revs. I have Revs score first. Minus 170, a little juicy. Maybe it'll come down. Minus 160, I would snag that 100%. I like the money line play. Minus 130 for the Revolution. Uh, I also like Revs at over 1.5 at plus money. Uh, I think this is a classic 2-0, maybe 3-0 win for the revolution, but I, I, I feel confident backing the money line play. Yeah. I can't believe they're only minus 130 versus Kansas City. It's unreal. Unless they think something's going to change for Kansas City on the road, which I don't think they will. Uh, and Barrero, even though he's he's going to be out, he's not that big of a uh, of a playmaker in the midfield for the sure. revolution. Uh, next up, actually real quick before we move on to the next game, Jacob, let's take another quick break to hear from our terrific sponsors. We are brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is a great place to get down on fantasy and player props all year long. Underdog Fantasy has your favorite NBA, NHL, and MLB daily games. Plus, they're already doing best ball drafts for the 2023 NFL season. Head over to underdogfantasy.com and use promo code SGPN for a 100% deposit bonus up to $100. That's underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN. And we are back. We are on Saturday evening, 4-22, April 22nd. New York City FC hosting FC Dallas. New York City FC, even money. FC Dallas plus 270. The draw plus 250. Over-unders at 2.25 leaning more towards the over New York city finally showed up to the party this season. They scored of course, <laughs> two goals against Nashville, a side that has yet to give up more than a goal in a match this season. Uh, the first win for New York city in their previous four matches comes at a time when they really need to capitalize at, and get some more home points. 
Dallas was the big play for me last week. I needed them to hit that team total over one and a half uh, late in the evening. Of course, they come through for me. Jesus Ferreira scored in the fifth minute, and I thought we were golden. Uh, I didn't take any more. Uh, you know, I thought about maybe going Dallas team total over two and a half. I mean, Jesus Ferreira scores in the fifth minute. Obviously, we're going to hit over one and a half, right? Not so, not so simple. Um, that goal didn't come until the 88th minute from substitute Bernard Camungo. Uh, 